Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of my 30 Days to Die series based on 7 Days to Die. Uh, it is the morning of day 10 and I have started to do a few things inside the house last night. Uh, I started clearing out down below. As you can see, a lot of the stuff over there is gone. These rows of benches are almost all gone. I started hearing zombies outside, so rather than smash them up and have the zombies try to break shit up, I decided just to stop. Um, I made a few things. We made some claw hammers last night because we need one to make a workbench. So we're going to go ahead and make a workbench this morning. So, um, there we go. So let's get this crafting. So we can throw that down. We've got a workbench of our own. We don't have to go searching for it. We've got a claw hammer here um, for us. And the flagstone blocks and the wood spikes are done. Um, so we're going to go ahead and lay those this morning. And I did hear a lot of zombies on the uh, wood spikes outside. So we're going to go cut some trees, get some wood, fix those wood spikes, and replace them once we can. Um, really hope there's not a screamer out here, but we'll find out soon enough. Ah, looks like a small horde showed up last night. Pay them a visit. Party people in the house! See ya. Okay, power strike. Ooh, took that one right in the face like a champ. What about you? Oh, one shot. I find ooh, most wandering hordes, the uh, zombies don't have a lot of hit points, so it's relatively easy just to ooh, take them out. Now, it looks like they broke a few of these out here. Yeah, one broke. All right, let's get this up here. Lay out the spikes first. We're gonna repair the ones. Oh, it looks like they broke one over here. Cause I know it couldn't have been me. What? I don't have any wood on me. Oh right, I said I was gonna chop some wood, didn't I? The hell was I thinking? Let's go grab this big tree back here. Let those ones over there grow. Yeah, see they broke a few black back here too, right? Looks like the rest are okay. So the spikes are doing their purpose. Any zombies that just kind of get like interested in what's going on, they kind of walk over towards the house and because these spikes are far enough away, you know, they just get smoked at the spikes before they really discover what the hell's going on inside. Now we never did finish breaking this up, did we? There we go. Free stone. All right, let's get over here. Did we get anybody along here last night? No, it looks like it's pretty good. Whoop, mouse got a little bit out of the way from me there. Uh, it looks like we're good on this side too. Okay, well, let's lay our 21 cobble down. Workbench is done. So we can start making ourselves some shotgun rounds. We can start using the shotgun a little more. The only problem with the shotgun is kind of like one of those things you kind of want to use on Horde Knight or whatever if you have to. Because you don't want to um, be firing it off and have all the zombies show up if you're just in a regular POI or whatever. Weapon of last resort or against dogs. The one thing you gotta worry about is dogs spawning out here. The zombie dogs. The wolves aren't so bad. I mean, one wolf can be dangerous. But you got a pack of zombie dogs, man? Like six zombie dogs? Forget it. That's definitely shotgun time. I tried taking out a pack of six zombie dogs with a bat. Didn't work out so well. Just saying. All right, let's clear this up. All right, you got enough to do this. At least one row deep. Now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with the front of the building. I mean, I could just lay the spikes over the front of the building. How the hell did that do that? Oh, there's a stone there. That's bizarre. I need to get rid of these cars too. So let's put them over the front of the building.
Let's take out these stairs. Take out this. Okay. Now, can they jump up? Oops, did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. They can jump up there. Doesn't look so hot, does it? Let's take this out too. Now is this... It's brick on the bottom it looks like. But wood... Really? Really? Um... Make some frames. Best way to get over spikes. Um, yeah, it looks like those are wood there. We'll need to take those out. Okay, spike traps, four on this side. One, two, three, four. Is that one damaged? It is damaged. Sometimes it's hard to tell if they're damaged or not. Alright, there are four on this side. So that should help out the front of the building. If they do decide to come after us. Come on. Alright. Might as well grab a few more fibers while I'm out here. Don't really need them for much, but when you do need them, it's nice to have them on you. Just want to clear this out front too, just because if I'm fighting out here, I don't want to be hitting these. Not that I'm expecting to be doing a lot of fighting out here, but if I'm trying to get back inside, this is the way I gotta go, so. Alright, that should be enough. Let's wrench these cars apart. Um, is that guy gone? Okay, now can we fix this up anymore? I guess not. Uh, well, it'll give them something to beat on. Alright, let's go put this stuff inside. I don't know if they'll jump that or not. Um, just for now. I don't think they're going to make the attempt to break in this way. But if they do try to come in through here, at least it's going to give them a little bit more of a challenge. Alright, that's good enough. Alright, let's go drop this stuff off, set up our workbench. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's clear out the rest of this so we don't have to do it at night. Alright, that's it. There we go. Nice and clear. We can work on that later. Whatever we're going to put down there. All right, probably fill it with spikes or something. I don't know. Uh, let's drop this stuff off now. Uh, anything else that goes in there? Nope. Most of it goes in here. Uh, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. 
Ah, uh, nope. Iron comes out of there. Stone comes out of there. Those go in here. And we're going to leave the wood on us for now. Um, fiber. we got lots of fiber now, so I don't have to worry about that. Glass jar, pine seed. Okay. Going to need these down here. So let's go out. We're going to need to find eggs. Ah, man. Um, yeah. we got to find eggs. We're running out of bacon and eggs. But I think what we want to do... I want to clear this place up first. Ooh. Thought I picked that up already. I mean, I could just go in here and fire the shotgun off and uh, have everyone come after me. Where are they sleeping? There's a guy right there. Oh. Ooh. Okay, two down. Oh, there you are. Alright, let's take this guy out. Power attack! Alright, another egg. So we need leather today. I did never did put the uh, workbench down. Let's hope the sake of God, we do not scrap that by accident. But that would totally be something I would do. Um. Working with two. Damn it. Yeah, man. And there's a safe here. Nice. Well, that was worth jumping up here. As long as there's something good in here. Now, a question. I got a question. I don't know if anyone knows this answer. But if you're looting or something like this, does it calculate your loot values as you crack this open? Or does it, when you open the item up, So, if, for instance, if you got a box, like a uh, Shamway box, and you break the Shamway box first before you open it, does it count your loot factor? Is it open? Because it's just, I think it's dropping a new item, isn't it? In game terms, maybe I'm wrong. All right, there's a bookshelf over this way. Anything good? Eh. Well, better than nothing. <sighs> Sometimes I just think the Lucky Looter goggles are just kind of a waste. Let's make some noise for the zombies to hear us. You know, once I get Lucky Looter maxed out, I get a good idea of how good it is. I think that's it. I thought I saw more iron here, but I'm probably wrong. Yeah. Oh, wait, right there. Alright, that's a little bit of stuff. 
Okay. I wonder. Nobody's waking up. Fine, don't wake up then. We need leather though. That's not going to give us leather, but they're breaking open anyway. Where can we find like leather office chairs or something? I wonder if well, that was a bird's nest. And it's empty, of course it is. I wonder if we'll find anything in here. Ooh, coffee seeds. And a new level, too. Clunky Oil Company, eh? Well, we're ready for Molotovs. That's where we're going. Heard somebody there. Quans. So I've kind of made a decision. I think what we're going to do with our backyard, um, or our graveyard, that is. Um, actually, you know what? Let's hang on to that. Um, is that a tree? Oh, it's a tree is we're going to um, turn it into a farm. Might as well. We'll have everything in one place. Might seem like a bad idea, I think, but since we're not really facing hordes like every seven days, it won't be that bad, I don't think. Let's see what's in here. Some cash. 10 o'clock in the morning, eh? All right, let's get our XP goggles on. Of course, it's locked. Uh, okay. Thought maybe there was nobody in here for a second. And that would have led me to believe that if we left and come back, that they would have respawned. I don't think we should leave here. Yeah, we got him in the armpit. Not that time. That guy's dead. I don't see anybody else. Shit, man, that's pretty good for quick resources. All right, let's bring out our knife. Nice. And we need a shovel now. Let's put this on. So we don't forget, bring our shovel down. and forged steel. Okay, that's kind of nice. Yeah. Well, those pickaxes we can always sell, right? Now, there's a bird's nest over there, which we really don't need to get. Eh. Why do I always feel like I'm getting ripped off with the lucky looter? toilet. 
Let's wrench this sucker apart. Uh, Cause why not? Never did bring our bike. Oh, we did. I keep forgetting we got it in our backpack. I don't know. There's something to be said about wandering around on foot. I kind of like it. It feels zombie, more zombie apocalypse-like. But when you need to get to point A, from point A to point B, you definitely want that damn bike. That's for sure. Okay. Um, bird's nest. Okay, we got enough for two bacon and eggs. Let's go wander around around back here, I think. See about going into the back of this, uh... I saw a bird's nest here. I guess not. Go into the back of this, uh... Scrapyard. What's that? What's she wandering around over there for? Alright. I don't know, I'm kind of just wandering around aimlessly now. Need to get some direction here. So is this a junkyard? No, it's not. What is this? Oh, airdrop. It's not that far. Um, where's that pig? Let's go get the airdrop. There's a pig here somewhere. Oh, there you are. All right, let's go get, take this stuff home. Uh, where is our, here we go. Take this stuff home. We'll go get the airdrop. Now, I don't know if you get more meat for using the knife or what happens. Come on. Okay, let's get our bike down. Let's get back to our house. So that looks like a cellular tower or something there. Some kind of tower. Looks like all those trees over there are growing. <laughs> nice big bush over there now. What's up, guys? Yeah, so our... Um, the bad thing right now is that our uh, land claim block does not cover all of the graveyard. It's just short, which means zomb zombies can spawn within our walls. So I've got to figure out what to do about that. Okay. Drop your stuff off really fast. Okay, let's drop our workbench down. Um, can't really find a good place to. It's like. Man, really? Really? Alright, let's do a little work here. Of course. Um, where's our hammer? I don't have any wood on us. Right, we dumped it all out. Sure, why not? Just in case. I don't know if we'll need it to be upgraded around this thing. It's highly unlikely, but if a cop spits over it by accident, we don't want him to kind of blow up our workbench here. Most likely it'll never happen, but most likely it's never. It's not never, I mean. All right, there we go. Nice, so let's get uh, this in here. Right? What? Does the tool and die set, where does it go in? Does it go in here? Yeah, it does. Okay, I thought it went in there. Durr. Actually, we don't want it in this one. 
because we're going to be um, yeah we're going to have a second one up that's going to uh, provide that so okay that's going to be going there put this on I can go in here. I mean, we got so much friggin'. All right, let's go get the uh, airdrop. Maybe we get an AK. Yeah, maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. All right, let's do this. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. All right, here it is, right beside this tree and this house. Looks like we got another snow biome near us. Yeah. Sure. All right, we're going to pick this up because we are going to foot it back and I am going to hit up as many bird's nests as I possibly can. Now, I don't know. If we break the nest, I don't think we're going to get eggs out of them that way, so I'm not going to bother. Cause I'm not convinced that if the, like, the nest will just randomly respawn someplace. don't know if that's ever happened. I've never seen... I mean, I haven't played this game all that long, but... All right, guys, I spent the last little while wandering around here. Um, so our house is just over here. Um, and I found this little house here. Could take a hit it up. We got a workbench on the outside here. Bust it up. Nothing in it. So I have no idea. Ooh, Stefan's treasure map. Well, I know what we're doing tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I want to spend time going in this POI. But it's definitely close by our house. So, um, I have to come back here and hit this place up. Find a good amount, good amount of eggs, too. Another gas barrel out here. Yeah, definitely gonna have to come back here and check it out. Man, I love this game for just being able to find places like this and then just have to, you know, go explore them and stuff. It's kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna keep looking for uh, bird's nests and we're gonna head back to the house. Well, all right, guys, here we are back at home, completely overloaded. I'll show you what we got inside. Um, picked up some clay along the way back. It was like really boring, just going and looking for bird's nests and stuff. But I grabbed some clay. Um, Found a few garbage things on the way, picked up a few things, not a lot, but we're going to get back in here, dump this stuff off inside, and I think we're going to get some cobblestone going. I want to get the second level of this wall done um, and get the front of the house fixed up here. So let's get up here, I'll show you what I got. All right, so not a lot of wood, picked up a few twigs as we were going along, some plant fibers, a little bit of stone. Um, where is it here? The clay, 1137, so not bad. Uh, anything else goes in here? Not really. And we got our stuff from the airdrop, which is not a lot, but I ate some of it on the way back, as you can see. Needed to do that. Uh, anything else goes in here? The eggs, 18 eggs, which is great. Now we got enough for 21, or uh, 11 bacon and eggs? 11. Uh, other stuff that goes in here. This guy, found a few nails, some gunpowder. Uh, not a lot. Those go in the other thing. Those go in the other thing. Uh, fragment. Cans. This goes back. Uh, yeah, arrows can go in here. Let's just top it off. We don't really need a ton of arrows or feathers on us. Just enough in case we need to make some more arrows. Um, these guys go in here. These guys go in here. Yep, yep. Bike can go there. Alright, and let's drop... Yep, yep, yep. And this is for tomorrow. Let's hang on to that. Um, let's go down here. Actually, I wanted to get that cobblestone running, didn't I? So let's go do that. Uh, grab a thousand stone. Um, just want a thousand here. Yeah, 34 extra, eh? God, it's so painful. I wish I could just do like 34. Right, 1,000. Okay, cool. Stone's going to be a little easier, I think. 
Um, right, just do that. And then we can do like this. I think we can make cobblestone in here, can't we? Can we? We can. So let's craft it in there so we don't have to have it on us. Nice. All right. 1,000 cobblestone should give us enough blocks to finish off the second level around our base here. Don't have to worry about zombies kind of wandering in. we got to worry about this, though. Right? we got a couple blocks over here. So I might, I don't know if, I think I got this set to maximum, 71 blocks. So can't really, if you look back there, it's not the whole thing, but it's pretty darn close. We might get, we might get a random zombie spawn, I don't know. Uh, let's spend some time getting a few of these trees, I think, though. Don't feel so bad using this now. These really haven't fully grown yet, but... Alright, well, we got a bit of wood. Let's get some more spikes going. We've got 812. How many spikes can we get done with that? Fair bit, I think. 40? Sure. So we got enough for a round here, but we definitely want to get a second row going. I'm just worried about screamers at some point. All right, let's get inside. Let's make a second forge. Um, let's just take these three. Leave that one for now. All right, let's make a second forge. We have the materials for it now. Hold 12 wood, get that those going. All right, we need a bellows, so we need to get, we need 20 of these. See, it'd be nice to just be able to roll one off of here. We're using the scroll wheel into your inventory. All right, 20 of those. What else do we need for the bellows here? Um, two pipes, five duct tape, five nails, and six wood. Five, five nails. Um, two pipes. And then six wood. Okay. So let's make a bellows. And then to make the forge, 50 stone, 60 clay, short iron pipe, and the bellows. Okay. Short iron pipe. 50 stone. Like, this is such a pain in the ass. So at least now, if a screamer shows up, her ass is grass. She's going to try and get through those spikes, and then she's just going to die. And 60 of those, right? So now we should make... Well, let's we'll take all that out, because we got to put that in the other forge here. Uh, forge, craft... We need to put this... Oh, geez, this is done, eh? Actually, let's do it this way. We have some iron we can drop in here, too, I think. 60 iron. Okay. Gotta be, I gotta be wary of this. We don't want this burning when we don't need it burning. Uh, there's our spikes built. Uh, forge is not quite done yet. Right? Two seconds, one second. Alright, now this one... Um, is when we want our tool our tool and die set in. We want to make bullets, right? Actually, the casings are going into here, right? We got 45 casings. Okay. So we need to make. God, we really need an alchemy station because we like. I, last thing I want to do is make gunpowder using two of these and two of these when I can just make one and one. Yeah. Okay, well, let's put these guys in here. And we'll start this one. We need some wood here. Don't know how much... 
Wish I knew how much we needed for this. Let's get that cooking. Now let's grab our tool and die set and the anvil. I don't know. If, well, you know what? Don't think we're going to need the anvil for this one. Let's just put the tool and die set in here. So this is for making bullets, right? So we can make, um, bullet tips or what? Lead and clay. So we're going to need clay and bullet casings are brass and clay. Okay. So we will need clay in here, but that's easy. You know, that's the easiest thing to get, right? Clay. Um, we need it more in here though, so we can make forged iron. I'd like to be able to upgrade all those spikes to forged iron, but it's not going to happen. How's our cobblestone doing over here? Almost done. Nice. So I got to figure out how many more we need for that second level. And then I think what we're going to do, replace those two up front. And then we need to start making, do we go to level three on them? I think we do. I think we go to level three. But that'll be for tomorrow. I think we should just start working on our base tomorrow. Um, I think we need to do that more than ever. Uh, so we just focus on gathering materials tomorrow to make our base. Uh, where is the... Or we have any forged iron? We have forged iron. Okay, good. I don't know how much we need to repair these. Two for that one. Yeah, that's good enough. How much forged iron can we make out of here? Can we get 20? Yeah, we can. You know what? Let's take 20 out of here. I hear a zombie outside. We're going to put some in here. That way we can turn this off when these are done. This goes a little faster. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. It is the night now. So, um, got our cobblestone done. Tomorrow we will work on the base a little more. Don't hear anybody. So, we're definitely going to need a lot of clay um, and a lot of stone. Stone is relatively easier to get. We've already got a bunch already, right? We can smash up a bunch, bunch of blocks around here. I mean, you know what? Maybe the best bet is to do the go raiding those those uh, POIs down there. Like if we go on the map here, the best bet will be to go down here, I think. So this shape here, these, these are the ones that have all the... Uh, so there's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, six buildings that are going to have concrete and... Um, Concrete stone and cobblestone, plus sand and um, um, and clay in the piles. We don't need the sand right away, but we definitely do need the cobblestone and the concrete. There's another one in here. So wait, did I count that one? Well, no, I didn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, or seven of them here that we can hit up tomorrow. And we'll go into every barn here too. We'll kill everybody, everything in the barn, get some experience for that. Uh, that's going to kind of be a repetitive day, but all the materials that we gather for this, it's going to be a hell of a lot of concrete, hell of a lot of cobblestone. Um, we can just work on upgrading our current wall. Um, then as we get more iron and everything going, that's the end of this one. Let's turn this off. And let's put this in here. Um, as we get more, um, we should make an iron shovel. Damn it. Sixteen iron, ten wood. I'm getting sidetracked here. So once we get the outer wall fixed up, um, once that outer once that outer wall is fixed, uh, and you know at least the first level of concrete, and we got a lot of um, we have a lot of um, spikes around. Then we can start focusing on the. Um, Let's just scrap this. We can start focusing on our uh, um, our horde base. Well, we should have a lot of iron by then. Should be making concrete by then. Hopefully, we'll have a cement mixer. 
um, which will be nice. And we can mix our own cement and uh, make rebar frames so we can get immediate uh, uh, reinforced concrete. We'll make it straight at the back here. I'm going to make a pathway right out here that's going to go right out to the to the to um, to where we're going to be holding down the hoard. I've already got an idea of how we're going to build it. Uh, I've seen a couple of designs, so I got, a, I got a good idea of how it can actually work. So, all right, we're going to leave the episode there. I hope you enjoyed it. If it did, drop a like. If you have any suggestions, um, please go ahead and drop them in the comment section down below. If you got any just general comments, please do that as well. And uh, yeah, we're gonna leave, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. <laughs> Until next time, we'll see you all later.